the truth about Littleton, Colorado. channel. We are the Denver Duo. My name is Emily Simpson and I'm Kelly McCall. We are associate brokers, moms, and foodies. Today we're going to be talking about the five truths when it comes to moving to or living in Littleton, Colorado. Number one, location. We talked about Colorado's capital, Denver, in our last video. Now we are going to move about 20 minutes south to the suburb of Littleton. We are going to focus on one of my favorite areas, downtown Littleton. Downtown Littleton has so much to offer from transportation, entertainment, parks, outdoor spaces, family friendly activities, and a nightlife, all while being rich in historical significance. Did you know there are single family homes, townhouses, historical homes, new builds, and even a 50 plus living community? Number two. History. Littleton began to form during the Pikes Peak Gold Rush of 1859, when Richard Little fell in love with the area and decided to move his family there and begin farming. The Littles worked with a growing number of neighbors to start the Rough and Ready Flour Mill in 1867, which brought a solid economic base for years to come. Many of the buildings you see in downtown Littleton are more than 100 years old. And you know what that means? That's right, many of the buildings are said to be haunted. That leads us to talk about one of my favorite places and one of the most haunted buildings in Littleton, the melting pot. The building started as a library, which doesn't sound menacing, until you learn that a group of young volunteers were caught conducting seances inside the building after it was closed. You would think that calling all spirits would be enough to give this building its haunted title, but after it was a library, it was a police station. Standoff between guards and an escaped convict unfortunately resulted in the death of both the officer and the convict. Now, many claim to feel watched as they make their way downstairs to the basement to visit the restrooms. Ladies, I would definitely recommend traveling in pairs when visiting the melting pot. Number three, transportation. Downtown Littleton is home to the Littleton Line Rail Station. You can take it further south for more shopping and entertainment at Aspen Grove or head north into downtown Denver. The light rail recently expanded so you can really get anywhere. Parker, Golden, and more. Lyft and Uber are always nearby for a fast pickup. Number four, schools. The Littleton School District is ranked one of the best in Colorado. Many of the schools in Littleton are highly ranked with an open enrollment for Littleton residents. Pretty much if you live in Littleton, you can pick the school of your choice. Number five, our personal favorite, places to eat and entertainment. Littleton has so many other amazing places to eat, from brunch at Bacon Social House, or Grand Station, sushi at Smokin' Fins, or Taco Tuesday at Palenque. Cafe Terracotta is inside an old Victorian home and one of downtown Littleton's hidden treasures. Don't forget to start with a cocktail at Rocker Spirits, a beer at Jake's Brew House, or a glass of wine at Kate's Wine Bar. I personally like to end the evening at Kate's along with one of their delicious brownies. Feeling like a play or musical? The Town Hall Art Center offers many amazing shows with a talented cast for a night out. Feeling crafty? Want to get your hair done? How about more shopping? Downtown Littleton has it all. That's our truth about Littleton, Colorado. Hopefully you got some good nuggets. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. We are here for you and all your real estate wants and needs. We'll be posting a new video on Friday, so stay tuned. Oh, do I do something? No, I do. I was just waiting for it to go up. Oh, sushi and <laughs> sushi. <laughs> Is it? No, I love it. Ladies, ladies.